So I got, <clears throat> got a uh, thing here for the ignition ignition settings uh, ignition option and decoder wheel decoder and this particular one here has uh, the 36 minus one tooth 36 minus one and I have it set on I have it set at 90 number one tooth angle 90 uh, right here and that's the uh, the amount of degrees from TDC from where the uh, crank sensor is so they got uh, the pointer at uh, number at TDC the uh, sensor is is uh, 90 degrees from that and that I believe most all applications as far as this goes stuff goes you could put the sensor at any pretty much any angle you want you could put the sensor at the bottom which would probably be like 160 180 100 and 200 degrees you could put it at 200 degrees if you want from TDC it just depends on where where you know where you can easily mount it on this on this one here you could see the sensors mounted on the uh about 90 degrees on mine, but you could mount it down at the bottom under the oil pan, which would be under here. I don't know if you can see that. The TDC is kind of like up right over there on the towards the uh, driver side of the uh, car. The sensor is mounted more like on the passenger side, right there. So you can get the wheel, trigger wheel. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, start the car and uh, see if that mark is really at 90. All right, pause it here. Another thing I want to mention before you set this up, you want to switch this here table use or use table you want to set that on that's fixed fixed advanced or you want to put it on uh, use table of course you want it fixed so that changes this to 20 degrees you can put it at anywhere you want 20 is good 15 to 20 is good so that way the the timer pointer the uh, the timing uh, marks on the harmonic balancer will not move around, so you can get a good a good reading. So we're gonna check the check the timing mark here. I know. So you can see that. So probably about looks like about 20, uh, 15 degrees. I believe that's probably, uh, let's switch it to 80. So you can see that's off. You can see that mark, and then the, the line on the balancer. And switch that. We have it at, we have it at 90. 90 degrees. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch that. To, uh, 80. Let's try 80. What we want to do is line up. You can actually hear the engine pick up a little bit there. Let's check it now. But, we got gotten closer. Still a little bit off. And you can see the number, I got it at 20, which corresponds with the, the number on my tuner studio. So it should be, looks like it's off about 5 degrees. Let's try, let's try 75 degrees. Let's try 
75. Switch at the 75. Burn, hit burn. Alright. Alright, let's check it now. Alright, let's go. Something's still wrong here. I don't know what's going on. Seems like it was better at 80. turn this off so you can hear. So what happened here is I had it at 90 degrees which was too far believe it or not was actually too far retarded. 90 so I tried uh, tried 80 was still not right dropped it down to 75 and that it seemed to get a little better and then I finally got it down to 60 and it seemed to flash right on the mark there and that was setting the timing timing light at 20 20 degrees there was set at 20 degrees uh, you know so that's at uh, so that picks up uh, number one tooth or number one um, I'm sorry uh, uh, not zero zero on the harmonic balancer so that corresponds with the number right there the 20 20 degrees you want to set your timing light at 20 uh, uh, dial back to zero timing light uh, so that way you can read it at uh, zero degrees on the harmonic balancer so yeah so to make a recap here I had it at uh, I had, had this at 90 had this number at at 90 right here and it was wasn't in the right spot so actually it was probably I'm thinking it was probably too far uh, retarded because um, as you increase RPM it seemed to want to bog out I had it at a hundred and it was real bad um, so I believe that was probably uh, too far retarded so I it was probably running at uh, hell it probably was I don't know Probably almost zero degrees or five, maybe five degrees advanced. So that was really far retarded. So I, so what I did is I dropped this, dropped it down to 80. The timing mark got a little closer, and uh, got it at uh, 75. It got even better, and finally 60. Looks like it lined up pretty good at 60. Might be a little bit slightly retarded. I might want to try it like 59 or 58, but. I think 60 is probably pretty close. Okay. 
So that's how you that's how you set up your uh, your um, number uh, a tooth number one angle uh, degree before top dead center to set up your uh, so that way the tuner studio the, top, the uh, wheel um, I'm sorry the timing table will be accurate to where you set your advanced timing and all that um, so that way the two are communicating uh, at the same uh, same numbers.